Julian day is the continuous count of days since the beginning of the Julian period and is used primarily by astronomers, and in software for easily calculating elapsed days between two events e.g. food production date and sell-by date. The Julian day number JDN is the integer assigned to a whole solar day in the Julian day count starting from noon universal time, with Julian day number 0 assigned to the day starting at noon on Monday, January 1, 4713 BC. Proleptic Julian calendar, November 24, 4714 BC. In the proleptic Gregorian calendar, a date at which three multi-year cycles started, which are indiction, solar, and lunar cycles, and which preceded any dates in recorded history. For example, the Julian day number for the day starting at 12 o'clock UT on January 1, 2000, was 2,451,545. The Julian date JD of any instant is the Julian day number plus the fraction of a day since the preceding noon in universal time. Julian dates are expressed as a Julian day number with a decimal fraction added. For example, the Julian date for 0 hours 30 minutes and 0 seconds.0 UT January 1, 2013, is 2,456,293.520833. The Julian period is a chronological interval of 7,980 years. Year 1 of the Julian period was 4713 BC. It has been used by historians since its introduction in 1583 to convert between different calendars. The Julian calendar year 2018 is year 6731 of the current Julian period. The next Julian period begins in the year AD 3268. Terminology The term Julian date may also refer, outside of astronomy, to the day of year number more properly, the ordinal date in the Gregorian calendar, especially in computer programming, the military and the food industry, or it may refer to dates in the Julian calendar. For example, if a given Julian date is October 5, 1582, this means that date in the Julian calendar which was October 15, 1582, in the Gregorian calendar, the date it was first established. Without an astronomical or historical context, a Julian date, given as 36, most likely means the 36th day of a given Gregorian year, namely February 5. Other possible meanings of a Julian date of 36 include an astronomical Julian day number, or the year AD 36 in the Julian calendar, or a duration of 36 astronomical Julian years. This is why the terms ordinal date or day of year, are preferred. In contexts where a Julian date means simply an ordinal date, calendars of a Gregorian year with formatting for ordinal dates are often called Julian calendars, but this could also mean that the calendars are of years in the Julian calendar system. Historical Julian dates were recorded relative to GMT or ephemeris time, but the International Astronomical Union now recommends that Julian dates be specified in terrestrial time, and that when necessary to specify Julian dates using a different time scale, that the time scale used be indicated when required, such as JD UT1. The fraction of the day is found by converting the number of hours, minutes, and seconds after noon into the equivalent decimal fraction. Time intervals calculated from differences of Julian dates specified in non-uniform time scales, such as Coordinated Universal Time (UTC), may need to be corrected for changes in time scales, e.g., leap seconds. Topic: <laughs> Variance. Because the starting point or reference epoch is so long ago, numbers in the Julian day can be quite large and cumbersome. A more recent starting point is sometimes used, for instance by dropping the leading digits, in order to fit into limited computer memory with an adequate amount of precision. In the following table, times are given in 24-hour notation. In the table below, epoch refers to the point in time used to set the origin usually zero, but one where explicitly indicated of the alternative convention being discussed in that row. The date given is a Gregorian calendar date if it is October 15, 1582, or later, but a Julian calendar date if it is earlier. JD stands for Julian date. 0H is 0 hundred midnight, 12H is 12 o'clock noon, UT unless otherwise specified. 
Current value is as of 1939, Sunday, November 18, 2018, UTC, and may be cashed. Update. The modified Julian date MJD was introduced by the Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory in 1957 to record the orbit of Sputnik via an IBM 704 36-bit machine and using only 18 bits until August 7, 2576. MJD is the epoch of VAX, VMS and its successor OpenVMS, using 63-bit date, time, which allows times to be stored up to July 31, 31086, 2 hours 48 minutes and 5 seconds.47. The MJD has a starting point of midnight on November 17, 1858 and is computed by MJD equals JD 2400000.5. The truncated Julian Day TJD was introduced by NASA Goddard in 1979 as part of a parallel grouped binary time code PB5 designed specifically although not exclusively for spacecraft applications. TJD was a four-digit day count from MJD 40000 which was May 24, 1968, represented as a 14-bit binary number. Since this code was limited to four digits, TJD recycled to zero on MJD 50000, or October 10, 1995, which gives a long ambiguity period of 27.4 years. NASA codes PB1. PB4 used a three-digit day of year count, only whole days are represented. Time of day is expressed by a count of seconds of a day, plus optional milliseconds, microseconds and nanoseconds in separate fields. Later PB5J was introduced which increased the TJD field to 16 bits, allowing values up to 65,535, which will occur in the year 2147. There are five digits recorded after TJD 9999. The Dublin Julian date DJD is the number of days that has elapsed since the epoch of the solar and lunar ephemerides used from 1900 through 1983, Newcomb's Tables of the Sun and Ernest W. Brown's Tables of the Motion of the Moon 1919. This epoch was noon UT on January 0, 1900, which is the same as noon UT on December 31, 1899. The DJD was defined by the International Astronomical Union at their meeting in Dublin, Ireland, in 1955. The Lillian Day number is a count of days of the Gregorian calendar and not defined relative to the Julian date. It is an integer applied to a whole day. Day 1 was October 15, 1582, which was the day the Gregorian calendar went into effect. The original paper defining it makes no mention of the time zone, and no mention of time of day. It was named for Aloysius Lilius, the principal author of the Gregorian calendar. Rata die is a system used in RexX, Go, Python and Microsoft.net. Some implementations or options use universal time, others use local time. Day 1 is January 1st, 1, that is, the first day of the Christian or Common Era in the proleptic Gregorian calendar. The heliocentric Julian Day HJD is the same as the Julian Day, but adjusted to the frame of reference of the Sun, and thus can differ from the Julian Day by as much as 8.3 minutes 498 seconds, that being the time it takes the Sun's light to reach Earth. To illustrate the ambiguity that could arise, consider the two separate astronomical measurements of an astronomical object from the Earth, assume that three objects—the Earth, the Sun, and the astronomical object targeted, that is whose distance is to be measured—happen to be in a straight line for both measures. However, for the first measurement, the Earth is between the Sun and the targeted object, and for the second, the Earth is on the opposite side of the Sun from that object. Then, the two measurements would differ by about 1,000 light seconds. For the first measurement, the Earth is roughly 500 light seconds closer to the target than the Sun, and roughly 500 light seconds further from the target astronomical object than the Sun for the second measure. An error of about 1,000 light seconds is over 1% of a light day, which can be a significant error when measuring temporal phenomena for short period astronomical objects over long time intervals. To clarify this issue, the ordinary Julian day is sometimes referred to as the geocentric Julian day GJD in order to distinguish it from HJD. History The Julian day number is based on the Julian period proposed by Joseph Scaliger, a classical scholar, in 1583, at the time of the Gregorian calendar reform, as it is the least common multiple of three calendar cycles used with the Julian calendar. 
15 induction cycle times 19 metonic cycle times 28 solar cycle equals 7980 year sits epoch falls at the last time when all three cycles if they are continued backward far enough were in their first year together Scaliger chose this because it preceded all historical dates Years of the Julian period are counted from this year, 4713 BC, which was chosen to be before any historical record. Since it is now certain that every possible combination of the three cyclic numbers finds its place in the Julian period, it is evident that the first year of the Christian era, which was the tenth year of a solar cycle, the second of a lunar cycle, and the fourth of a cycle of indiction, finds its place within this artificial era, and must answer to that particular year of the period which is characterized by the same cyclic numbers. Hence, to refer the Christian era to the Julian period is the same thing as to find out what year of that period it is which, when divided by 28 will leave a remainder 10, divided by 19 will leave a remainder 2, and divided by 15 will leave a remainder 4. The solution of this problem belongs to the higher mathematics, by which it is found that the year required is the 4714th of the period in question. Hence July. Per, 4714 equals AD1, and consequently Julian period 4713 equals BC1. In point of fact, finding the year is a very straightforward arithmetical procedure. See. Calculation. Below. Although many references say that the Julian in. Julian period refers to Scaliger's father, Julius Scaliger, in the introduction to Book V of his Opus de Emendation Temporum, Work on the Emendation of Time. He states, Eulinum vocamus, quia ad annum eulinum dum taxit accommodata est, which translates more or less as, We have called it Julian merely because it is accommodated to the Julian year. Thus Julian refers to Julius Caesar, who introduced the Julian calendar in 46 BC. Originally the Julian period was used only to count years, and the Julian calendar was used to express historical dates within years. In his book Outlines of Astronomy, first published in 1849, the astronomer John Herschel added the counting of days elapsed from the beginning of the Julian period. The period thus arising of 7,980 Julian years, is called the Julian period, and it has been found so useful, that the most competent authorities have not hesitated to declare that, through its employment, light and order were first introduced into chronology. We owe its invention or revival to Joseph Scaliger, who is said to have received it from the Greeks of Constantinople. The first year of the current Julian period, or that of which the number in each of the three subordinate cycles is one, was the year 4713 BC, and the noon of 1 January of that year, for the meridian of Alexandria, is the chronological epoch, to which all historical eras are most readily and intelligibly referred, by computing the number of integer days intervening between that epoch and the noon for Alexandria of the day, which is reckoned to be the first of the particular era in question. The meridian of Alexandria is chosen as that to which Ptolemy refers the commencement of the era of Nabonassar, the basis of all his calculations. Astronomers adopted Herschel's days of the Julian period in the late 19th century, but used the meridian of Greenwich instead of Alexandria, after the former was adopted as the prime meridian after the International Meridian Conference in Washington in 1884. This has now become the standard system of Julian days numbers. The French mathematician and astronomer Pierre-Simon Laplace first expressed the time of day as a decimal fraction added to calendar dates in his book, Traité de mécanique céleste, in 1799. Other astronomers added fractions of the day to the Julian day number to create Julian dates, which are typically used by astronomers to date astronomical observations, thus eliminating the complications resulting from using standard calendar periods like eras, years, or months. They were first introduced into variable star work by Edward Charles Pickering, of the Harvard College Observatory, in 1890. Julian days begin at noon because when Herschel recommended them, the astronomical day began at noon. The astronomical day had begun at noon ever since Ptolemy chose to begin the days in his astronomical periods at noon. He chose noon because the transit of the sun across the observer's meridian occurs at the same apparent time every day of the year, unlike sunrise or sunset, which vary by several hours. Midnight was not even considered because it could not be accurately determined using water clocks. Nevertheless, he double-dated most nighttime observations with both Egyptian days beginning at sunrise and Babylonian days beginning at sunset. 
This would seem to imply that his choice of noon was not, as is sometimes stated, made in order to allow all observations from a given night to be recorded with the same date. When this practice ended in 1925, it was decided to keep Julian days continuous with previous practice. Topic. Julian day number calculation The Julian day number can be calculated using the following formulas integer division is used exclusively, that is, the remainders of all divisions are dropped. The months January to December are numbered 1 to 12. For the year, astronomical year numbering is used, thus 1 BC is 0, 2 BC is minus 1, and 4713 BC is minus 4712. JDN is the Julian day number. Use the previous day of the month if trying to find the JDN of an instant before midday UT. Topic. Converting Gregorian calendar date to Julian day number. The algorithm is valid for all possibly proleptic Gregorian calendar dates after November 23, minus 4713. JDN equals 1461 times Y plus 4800 plus M minus 14, 12, 4 plus 367 times M minus 2 minus 12 times M minus 14, 12, 12 minus 3 times Y plus 4900 plus M 14, 12, 100, 4 plus D minus 32,075. Topic. Converting Julian calendar date to Julian day number. The algorithm is valid for all possibly proleptic Julian calendar years minus 4712, that is, for all JDN 0. JDN equals 367 times Y minus 7 times Y plus 5001 plus M minus 9, 7, 4 plus 275 times M, 9 plus D plus 1,729,777 Topic Finding Julian date Given Julian day number and time of day for the full Julian date of a moment after 12 o'clock UT One can use the following Divisions are real numbers, JD equals JDN plus hour minus Minus 1224 plus minute 1440 plus second 86400 display style begin matrix J D and equals and J D N plus frac text hour minus 1224 plus frac text minute 1440 plus frac text second 86400 end matrix so for example January 1st 2000 at 18 hours 0 minutes and 0 seconds UT corresponds to J D equals 2 million Four hundred fifty one thousand five hundred forty five point two five for a point in time in a given Julian day after midnight UT and before twelve o'clock UT, add one or use the JDN of the next afternoon. Topic finding day of week given Julian day number the U.S. day of the week W1 for an afternoon or evening UT can be determined from the Julian day number J with the expression W1 equals mod J plus 1, 7 if the moment in time is after midnight UT and before 12 o'clock UT, then one is already in the next day of the week. The ISO day of the week W0 can be determined from the Julian day number J with the expression W0 equals mod J7 plus 1 topic Julian or Gregorian calendar from Julian day number This is an algorithm by Richards to convert a Julian day number J to a date in the Gregorian calendar proleptic when applicable. Richards states the algorithm is valid for Julian day numbers greater than or equal to 0. All variables are integer values, and the notation a divb indicates integer division, and mod a b denotes the modulus operator. For Julian calendar, 1, f equals j plus j f o r Gregorian calendar, 1, f equals j plus j plus 4 times j plus b div 146097 times 3 div 4 plus c f o r Julian or Gregorian, continue, 2, e equals r times f plus v 3, g equals mod e p div r 4, h equals u times g plus w 5. D equals mod H S D I V U plus one six M equals mod H D I V S plus M N plus one seven Y equals E D I V P Y plus N plus M M D I V N D M and Y are the numbers of the day, month, and year respectively for the afternoon at the beginning of the given Julian day. 
Topic Julian period from induction, metonic and solar cycles let Y be the year BC or AD and I, M and S respectively its positions in the induction, metonic and solar cycles. Divide 6916 I plus 4200 meters plus 4845s by 7980 and call the remainder R. If R greater than 4713, Y equals R minus 4713 and is a year AD. If R I topic 8, M2, S equals 8. What is the year? 6916 times 8 topic 55328, 4200 times 2, 8400, 4845 times 8 topic 38760. 55,328 plus 8,400 plus 38760 102488. 102,488 7,980 equals 12 remainder 6,728. Y topic 6,728 minus 4,713 AD 2015. Topic Julian date calculation as stated above, the Julian date JD of any instant is the Julian day number for the preceding noon in universal time plus the fraction of the day since that instant. Ordinarily calculating the fractional portion of the JD is straightforward, the number of seconds that have elapsed in the day divided by the number of seconds in a day, 86,400. But if the UTC timescale is being used, a day containing a positive leap second contains 86,401 seconds or in the unlikely event of a negative leap second, 86,399 seconds. One authoritative source, the Standards of Fundamental Astronomy SOFA, deals with this issue by treating days containing a leap second as having a different length 86,401 or 86,399 seconds, as required. SOFA refers to the result of such a calculation as quasi-JD. See also References, <references>